earth signs taurus virgo capricorn ascendant sun moon venus rising and those cross watching and welcome to your tarot love messages today we're going to take a look at whether your special person here will be coming back into your life so i guess this is more tailored to those of you who are currently in some sort of disconnection with you and your romantic interest if the two of you are not talking if you're in separation decides to give each other a break whatever the case um, these messages are general, so please just keep that in mind. If you're interested in personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So I'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what it is the cards are predicting for you. seven of wands the ace of cups the magician the ace of pentacles the ten of swords and lastly the empress okay um wow okay um the seven of wands there's a fighting energy here around this person i feel like this person is not ready to give up on you they're not ready to give up on your connection your marriage your partnership they're not ready to give up on you they haven't ultimately released your energy okay the two of you are not talking the two of you are fighting there's conflict there's a disagreement there's a separation a divorce perhaps um they're not ready though they're not ready to throw it all away they're not ready to give up on what the two of you had they're not done with you so even if you think oh no we're done and dusted or it's over i've stuck a fork in it um no this person is not done yet i feel like you have unfinished business okay you're wanting to know whether your person is going to come back into your life the magician here, whenever he appears in your spread, I always say this, but to me, it's always a resounding yes. Okay, so I do see your person coming back into your life. It's very likely that they may reach out very unexpectedly, um, out of the blue, or it's very likely that this person may just show up on your doorstep one day, um, or their name might flash up on your screen here. Some of you might have even deleted their number or deleted their social media. You might have blocked them. But I feel like this person will have will find a way. Where there is a will, there's a way, and this person finds one. They'll find a way to communicate or they'll find a way to somehow, um, you know, manage to come back into your life. So I do feel like this person is coming back into your life. I'm also seeing that it's almost this person, um, it's almost as if they're, like, their energy feels like it's shifted. They're a lot more open. Um, you know, I can see that this person is ready to pour their heart out. They're ready to open up to you emotionally and tell and tell you what's been going on. Um, they're ready. To, they're ready for commitment. They're ready for stability here. Um, I feel like they're very open and they're very receptive. They'll be very open to hearing out what you have to say. And I can see communication with you is going to be very emotional. I see tears here. I'm seeing tears. So I don't know if something they may say to you might cause you um, to cry. It may bring you to tears because maybe it's that emotional. Or maybe you've been hopeful about this connection all along. It could just as well be something that you say may drive them to tears, okay? Or it just could be a very teary reunion here, like the two of you really miss each other. I can see that there is a lot of feelings, like there's a lot of over um, emotions involved here, so much so that it feels overwhelming, so much so that this chalice is not able to contain it all. So I can see that the two of you are very emotionally connected. Even if the two of you aren't talking right now, I feel like it's almost like you can feel them there or they can feel you here. Um, the two of you still feel very connected, spiritually or emotionally. There's a thread that still binds the two of you together here. Um, notice the Empress and the Magician and the Ace of Pentacles. There's a lot of fruition and vegetation, this lush vegetation happening within the images, uh, within the imagery here, which tells us that there's so much promising potential to this, um, to this uh, connection. Now, the, there might have been a lot of conflict, or there may still be a lot of conflict that exists between the two of you. I feel like maybe this is someone who has anger issues. The anger might just flare up out of nowhere. Maybe this is someone who is always very defensive of themselves and what they say. Um, I'm also hearing that, like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting this person might have had, there was some sort of opposing influence. Now, 
it could be like a mother or a father figure or like a sibling here that opposed you that maybe were in their ears about you and about this connection and somehow this per i get that they're very impressionable your person here and somehow they listened to what this person had to say and that somehow drove your person away here that's the message i'm getting here so someone here opposed some sort of someone opposed you or your connection here with this individual there was some sort of opposing influence that i feel like really made an impression upon them it really influenced their decision to pull away or their decision to start some sort of disagreement here or an argument with you um, i did cover the topic of them possibly having anger issues here i'm also seeing that there was some sort of mismatch or some sort of imbalance in your connection notice in the seven of ones the figure wears different shoes so maybe you guys have different cultural backgrounds maybe you see, see things very differently maybe your families are very different you have different upbringings i feel like there was a clash because of these differences here there was a big clash and unfortunately um, and sadly still is that this had the ability to separate the two of you this clash or this opposing uh influence here Okay, I did see, I did mention that I see a lot of promising um, potential here and I feel like this person comes back and it's almost like they're a very different person or it's almost like their energy here has shifted. I feel like this person wants, um, they want commitment here. They want commitment, they want um, consistency, they want, um, I feel like they want something long term with you. They want a relationship. They want exclus um, exclusivity here. They want to settle down with you here. This person, I feel like they come back into your life. And there's something here. Okay, bear with me here. Because I feel like either this person has gifted you with something. Some sort of ring, a promise ring, an engagement ring, a pentacle here. This is something that I feel like you have. You have of theirs. Okay, someone here has gifted you something very... This person has gifted you something very special. It could be something small, but I feel like it has a lot of value and meaning to you. Or it's very likely that this person is going to gift you with something very special. And it's their way of trying to reconcile. Or it's their way of trying to promise they're sticking by you and they're fighting for you. And they're fighting for, you know, this love and this connection here. But I feel like the connection is going to grow. And I feel like... In, in a funny way, the separation is going to bring you closer together. I know, that's a bit of a paradox, but I feel like this this separation between the two of you is honestly going to bring you even closer together. Now, with the Ten of one, the ten of Swords, sorry, I feel like maybe the two of you have really hurt each other or this person has really hurt you because I'm seeing either there was a lot of conflict or the two of you fought a lot, a lot of arguing, disagreeing. Maybe you feel as though this person backstabbed you or they betrayed you or, you know, their words cut you like weapons, or they hurt you by their words, actions, or intentions. I can see that there was there was a painful ending to your connection. But what draws my attention is the sun here that breaks through the dark clouds. And it's almost like you had to separate or you had to disconnect from this person. Because the two of you were... You, you were becoming toxic for one another. Or this connection was becoming toxic one, for one another. And that separation that being apart from them, it's like your absence has made the heart grow fonder. And it's during the, the it's during your absence that this person has truly appreciated your presence. So this ending is bringing about a new beginning for you. So yes, I do see this person coming back into your life. I also see this person staying here. I see a possible engagement, wedding, a marriage, moving in together. I feel like this is someone whom you're going to um, stay. Uh, you're going to stay with this person for the long haul. You are. The Empress also tells me that some of you potentially might go on to have a pregnancy to this person here. I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing possible children here. Or if it's not like uh, a pregnancy, then it's you being really pregnant with emotions, you, you know, being overwhelmed with emotions, um, the joy and just the overwhelmment of everything. Um, so with the magician here, I do feel like this person is going to come back um, rather unexpectedly. Even though so, some of you may have been hopeful, you may have been, you know, um, holding on to this hope that they are coming back into your life, it'll still surprise you. It'll still surprise you. 
and um, better yet, I feel like what will surprise you the most is just how, just how natural and organic it will be after they come back into your life. Like, I see them really fighting for this, and I feel like they really want this. They feel really bad for what they did, uh, or what they said to you, or how they treated you, and I feel like they really want to make amends. They want to redeem themselves. They want to show you that they are loyal and they are committed to you, and they want to show you that you know they want to show you a vulnerable side, a side to them that you haven't seen before, not like this. So this person is coming back into your life. Either it's going to happen very quickly. Or it's going to happen very unexpectedly. One or the other. Okay guys, that's all I have for you. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting or sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages. So, st so do stay tuned. Um, and for those of you that are interested in personalized tarot reading. All you have to do is just email me and we'll go from there. Thanks guys. Bye for now.